it's hers to scrape on that one. There may have been some damage. I need to go out and check it out. Oh, look at this bone. I don't know if it's human. Wow, look at that sparkle there. You see that? We're going to try to make it down. This is a weird feeling. It's deep, it's dark. All right, it's crude, but uh, it might just work. I'm Steve from Las Vegas, and these are my adventures. I've scoured the mountains outside of Las Vegas looking for clues in the Kenny Beach disappearance, but have so far found nothing. So we're expanding the search. Today's expedition will be to the fabled June Bug Mine, an old lead and zinc mine located in the mountains outside Las Vegas at the base of Gas Peak. Now Kenny mentioned in his final video that he hiked Gas Peak and surrounding areas, so he almost certainly knew of the mine. The last time I came up here, I hiked up to the top of uh, what they call Gas Peak and I spent the night. Um, it was a two day hike and then I hiked all the way down to another valley over here. On Saturday, March 25th, 2023, I led an intense solo expedition to the mine looking for clues and found a lot more than I expected. On the way back, I even stopped at a different mine shaft and used my GoPro attached to a long pole to see around an inaccessible corner to see if there was anything there inside that shaft that I couldn't see in. It's a really exciting adventure that took nine hours. Now to get to the mine, you basically come uh, up Corn Creek Road and then you've got to come all the way around through the Desert National Wildlife Refuge because there is no legal way to get to this mine. This is the only way to get out there. Now, once you come here, the road is closed, so you've got to hike. It's two miles each way. It is a long, long hike. Then once you get into the Junebug Canyon, this is the mine area. You can see the proximity to Gas Peak and the proximity to Pixar Canyon. So it's entirely possible that Kenny Beach somehow could have ended up in this area. You don't know until you get out there. So if you're ready, put on your boots and grab your backpack because Expedition to Junebug Mine starts right now. Saturday, March 25th, 2023. We're here at the Desert National Wildlife Refuge as we have been so many times before. And if this is your first time watching one of our videos, see those mountains out in the back? That is the Sheep Range. It is a mountain range outside Las Vegas. And about eight or so years ago, a man named Kenny Beach walked into those mountains, allegedly, and never came back. His vehicle was found abandoned. His keys and cell phone were found by an old mine shaft. We've been in the mine shaft. You can see uh, our posted videos, been in there before. We've explored it. Uh, I don't think he's in there, but the man has disappeared and never been seen again, somewhere in the Sheep Range Mountains. Now, Kenny Beach was an outdoorsman. He loved to hike and he bragged about long distance hikes. So we've been out there. We've scoured these mountains. We've gone all through the Sheep Range. We've been through Joe May Canyon, Picture Canyon, Wild Horse Pass. We've gone Nooks, Crannies, Caves out there. Uh, we've even hiked to an old cabin that's about a 10 mile round trip hike and so far no sign of Kenny Beach. So we're going to change it up a little bit today. Now Kenny Beach pointed when he made his last video to Gas Peak and that is that peak right over there in the center of the video. That should be Gas Peak right there. We're not going to hike up Gas Peak but we're going to focus on the base of Gas Peak where there's an old mine called the June Bug Mine. Yes, the June Bug Mine. So this is uh, visible on Google Earth if you Google it and if you look carefully you won't see a mine shaft. Uh, another YouTuber, I believe it was uh, Solomon's Outdoor Adventures, actually hiked out there and saw uh, the tailings piles, but he couldn't find a shaft. Well, everybody, we made it to the top of the mine tailings, but unfortunately, it looks like the mine's been either sealed off or we're just not at the right place because there's no entrance, there's no nothing. There's lots of cool minerals in the tailings. Um, you know, we found some copper, we found a lot of zinc, found some lead, lots of beautiful calcites. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. We came all the way up these tailing piles. We didn't find any entrance. Now I have it on good authority that there is indeed a shaft out there. It may be small, it may be hard to see, but I'm going to try to find it. And if I do find it, we'll go inside. And if it's too small to go inside, we'll stick the GoPro in there. And if we can't find the shaft, don't worry about it because there is another mine out there that I know last time I was there is open and we will go in there. And there is a corner I could not get around because there's a deep pit. So I've got a long pole for the GoPro that I'm going to put it on and try to see what's around that corner, see if the mine goes any deeper. So to leave no stone unturned, 
Kenny Beach could be out here anywhere. Look how vast these mountain range are. The man could literally, literally be anywhere. And if he did stage his own disappearance, which is one of the theories, he could have left his keys and cell phone at a mine shaft over there, and in theory, hiked 10 miles over here to another mine shaft where he disappeared. I don't know, anything is on the table, so you're not gonna find out information or any facts until you actually go out there, boots on the ground, and find out what happened to Kenny. So that's what we're gonna do, exploratory, and uh, that's what we're gonna do today. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and saddle up and uh, get in the truck and drive on out there. We're gonna drive to, as far as we can, to the Junebug Mine. Now, Google Earth does show a uh, road out to the Junebug Mine. If we can drive all the way there, we will. If not, there's gonna be a little bit of a hike to it. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, without further ado, head out there. about an hour and a half drive from that sign we just filmed at. An hour and a half on the road, about uh, 20, 30 miles. That was a heck of a drive. Did you see those those two obstacles you went through? Man, I'll tell you what, I'm out here by myself. I was worried about those two. I was actually kind of sweating, hope I wouldn't get stuck or roll the truck or something. That was, uh, it's a lot steeper than it looked in the video, but I can assure you that was, uh, that made me really nervous. Now behind me, right where I'm pointing, is the Las Vegas Strip. If you look carefully, I'm not, I'm not gonna zoom in obviously, but uh, you can see the Stratosphere Tower, uh, Resorts World, um, you might even see Mandalay Bay, there's the Trump Tower out there in gold, and uh, beyond that's the airport. But yeah, that's the Las Vegas Strip, so we're not that far. Obviously, I've got a cell signal, and I made it out here a lot farther than I thought I would, so out that way, we're gonna go in just a moment, that is the Junebug Mine. Now, you'll see when we start, there's a sign that says no vehicles, which is really disappointing because this is a road heading out there, but, um, 
I wanted to drive all the way out there. Didn't work out that way. Uh, I checked the GPS map and it looks like we've got about two miles to get out there. So it's a two mile hike. Not a massive insane one that should make it a four mile a day if this is all we do, but uh, two miles are doable. So we're gonna hike the two miles out to the June bug mine, try to find that shaft and see what else is out there. I've got about three locations map where there may or may not be a shaft. Now on the way back, there is the Gas Peak mine I'm going to check out as well. There's some anomalies around there I'm going to take a look at. And we're going to have to go along this perimeter road out here back through those obstacles. Now out here on the other side, uh, between here and Las Vegas, that's all at Nellis Air Force Base military properties. You can't really go out there and there's no way to get out of here. Um, down that way is the Clark County shooting complex. It's a public shooting range. I'm not sure if I can get out there. Last I heard, I can, but it could have been blocked off. So. I don't want to stand in here talking all day. I want to get hiking. That's what I came here for. That's what you're watching for. So without further ado, let's, uh, we got our gear on. Let's head out there and uh, to the June bug mine and start our hike. So where we're going is June bug mine road. And as you can see, it says uh, road closed, no vehicles, no firearms. Uh, but uh, it should be open for hiking. So we're going to park the truck here. We're going to hike out there and it should be about two miles or so to the mine that's in those mountains somewhere, two miles. So if you're ready, let's go. we got a two mile hike ahead of us through the desert. And once again, it's a slide uphill incline. So we're getting a little more winded easier. But coming back should be pretty much a breeze. Almost a jog out of here, which is good. because There's a couple other points I'd like to see before we head out of here for the day. Now, back at the Phantom Footsteps, I've spoken to other people about them. Other YouTubers have reported them, and what it is, is you're walking along like this, and it sounds like a second set of footsteps or something running up behind you. And uh, several hikers have mentioned it. Uh, Sean Connor, in one of his videos, experienced it at night in the Joe May Valley. I think uh, Scott not all experienced it as well and some other folks have wrote about it online. I was recently talking to one of the, uh, let's just say one of the officials who kind of works out here and I mentioned a fan of footsteps and they just kind of smiled and nodded their head. They've evidently heard of him too. So I guess, yeah, that's the thing. Is it a ghost? An old Indian legend? Something supernatural? Or just the acoustics out here? Or the wind bouncing off my boonie hat, I don't know. But it's kind of creepy if here for the first time because it sounds like something is running up behind you. At any rate, that's what it is for what it's worth. On the clock, 1.55 miles, 33 minutes, 400 foot elevation gain. And remember, add a quarter mile to that because um, we started this late. But you can see Las Vegas Strip out there still. We're coming up on the hills and somewhere in these mountains is the Junebug Mine. So I'm gonna pull out the GPS, confirm which direction we gotta go, but I'm pretty sure this road leads us right to it. And probably right in that pass somewhere. So let's head out there and see if we can find the shaft to the Junebug Mine. We hear something interesting. Some sort of a uh, round metal plate, hockey puck sort of thing. Um, I'm not sure what it is. Um, you could probably put this on the ice and really give hockey players a run for the money because this is solid steel, whatever it is, but it's some kind of round steel disc. And I'm not sure what it's for, but I found it here in the road and in the road is where it's gonna stay. Let's keep going. As we get closer, these mountains I could hear gunshots out there at the Clark County shooting complex makes me a little nervous but I'm not too worried because I've seen it on satellite even though I've never been there I've seen it on satellite know they have backdrop so it's unlikely a stray bullet would come out here and if it did we're behind these uh hills anyway so yeah we're almost there should be in that valley up there let's keep on going you see so few man-made objects out here that just kind of interesting somebody put a pole in the road maybe some sort of a marker I'm not sure why but we're getting closer we should be there shortly 1.68 miles on the clock so 
when you're actually approaching two miles and this is just over two miles to the june bug mine so keep on going we're almost there all right we're heading into the mountains as you can see uh 1.82 miles of the clock 40 minutes almost 500 foot elevation gain here's a an old crushed piece of metal some kind of rusty metal i'm guessing it was a can at one point probably run over lord knows how many times but like i said i don't usually point out trash but it's so infrequent to see trash out here especially really old stuff so anything notable i try to point out and uh if i don't know something or if i'm wrong by all means mention the comments below this is what your channel is mine i love your comments keep them coming and i've learned a lot from your comments believe it or not you guys have identified un unidentified things out here anomalies you've seen a lot of things that i missed when i'm out here i'm just walking trying to survive and you guys are the ones seeing everything that's why i use this floaty stick that holds the camera out in front of me instead of a helmet cam where all you'd be seeing is like this so by all means if you see something i miss mention in the comments all right fresh gopro battery you hear a jet somewhere up there they usually take off going full afterburner from nellis pretty loud if you're close to the base but out here you can hear them they're not that loud it's uh, warmed up quite a bit in this kind of valley here there's no wind and i'm really glad i didn't wear anything more than just that under armor base layer under my regular shirt so um we're gonna keep on going it's not too hot it's not too cold right now it's pretty much perfect we should be pretty close to june bug mine right around those that bend up there we should see a few tailing piles and that's going to be our telltale sign that there's a shaft nearby because when they dig a, a hole all that dirt they take out has to go somewhere and that's where a tailing pile is now it looks like we got a little pocket cave up there so let's head up there and check it out no i don't think it's the m cave but now my body starts vibrating we'll know so let's uh put our other glove on here real quick and head up here and see what's in this little pocket cave i should have put my gopro on the other hand just in case keep my right hand free and you know why yeah it's just a little pocket cave doesn't really even go in i don't see anything in there all right who did it who's wearing a covid mask out here hiking seriously oh there's some droppings now i do have some heavy duty dust masks that i wear for mine and cave exploration but uh this doesn't really warrant it it doesn't go in very far see somebody dropped their booze bottles here there's one, two, three, four, and two cans. Who knows how old they are? So somebody came out here and had a little party. And that's why I don't pick, them, pick up stuff from people because, well, how much extra weight do you think those five or six cans of bottles are? That's not why we came out here anyway. June bug mine out there is, let's go. Now traversing these rocks is not big a deal. It's not super steep or anything, but you do have to be careful because, and watch where you put your foot because some of these smaller rocks that you climb, that's where accidents happen. Look at this, butt ice, who the hell, bro? who carries a bunch of beer out here to get drunk? That's ridiculous. Well, that's probably when the road was open and people would come out here and drink and stuff and that's probably why the road is closed now. So for those who litter and do things like that out here, thank you for ruining it for everybody else. Let's press on. See another like little pocket cave up there that kind of goes up. It's more of a rock outcrop than a cave, but things like that are interesting. And uh, they don't go in very far. Now right over here is something you don't see very often. That's a pool of water. And if you look carefully, you could see little mosquito larvae 
inside there moving around. So mosquitoes don't really need much to lay their eggs and breed. Um, and it's really sad that they breed everywhere, even a small pool of water like that. But believe it or not, there's not a whole lot of mosquitoes in Las Vegas area, especially in the dry season. There's just no, no pools of water for them to breed, which is good. So those of you living in the south, Alabama, Louisiana, Florida, you guys know about mosquitoes. They're not out here. Another cave outcropping. I always love coming places new because you see things that I've never seen before. Barrel cactuses out there. Interesting stuff up on the hills. Let's keep going, we're almost there. Well, here's an old, probably sardine can that I'm sure somebody did not did not put there initially. It was, uh, it was dropped there, a rusty can. These are usually about 100 years old, maybe even more. There's a little piece of wood over there. See it? So people have been out here, obviously. Um, recently, I don't know how recently. It's, uh, you saw what it takes me to get out of here. It's quite, a, it's quite a drive. And then quite a hike for those who uh, obey the law and don't bring their vehicle out here. But yeah, I could have easily driven my vehicle out here. And here's some kind of a marker. MND. Whatever that means sure somebody's spray painted it well the june bug should be just up here in this uh in this valley in this canyon here's another spray painted marker so yeah somewhere up here we'll look for tailing piles i've got a few points mapped on gps and hopefully we'll find the shaft it's kind of cool this is a ramp that goes all the way up now, normally I climb it, but there's just, there's just no reason to. There's nothing up there that I can see. Not really. But somewhere in this valley is the June bug mine, and we're very close. So I'm gonna try to walk slowly and carefully, because I don't want to startle a wild animal, like a uh, mountain lion or something. Here's some more trash. And you can see water flowing here. Whenever there's storms, torrential downpours, water flows, and may have washed some of this trash out that was undoubtedly brought out here for the June bug mine. You can see these old rusty cans. So let's keep on going, because just right up there somewhere, in that opening of the June bug mine, almost looks like somebody stacked some rocks here. I can't tell, natural or not. But I always kind of get nervous in these small valleys where you can't see what's around the corner if I'm going to come across an animal or something else and startle it. Just seemed like a great place for an ambush. Oh, look at this bone. That's, that's a big one. I don't know if it's human. Probably animal. Wow, look at this. It's been here a while. Look, I'm sure it's animal. But it sure as hell could be human, doesn't it? Doesn't look like that. I mean, here's the size comparison to my foot, to my boot. Any experts on bones want to comment? It's a little, a little strange. Just keep on going. Some more pieces of metal. Now some of these mines out here in Nevada have significant debris and structures. I don't believe there's anything out of these June bug mine, but you never know. See what could be a cave or a shaft up on the hill, I'm not sure, we'll check that out. But let's keep on going and check the GPS, see how close we are. Should be real close. All right, straight up there, you can't really see it because it's kind of hidden behind a bush, but there is an opening. And I can't tell if that's the mine shaft we're looking for or a pocket cave because most of these little holes up here, you see these little caves, the pocket caves don't go to more than a foot or two. So. You hike up there, you're just wasting energy trying to get to them. So, where the GPS of the June bug should be just up here a little bit. From the way back, I do plan to go up there and 
check that out and see what it is. Now see all this kind of dirt, this kind of falling off, that looks like erosion, but this is what a tailing pile looks like. And tailings are what they uh, dig out of mine, so it's always a telltale, shot, telltale sign that there's a shaft close by. Not always, because right here I think that's just erosion. But uh, I'm gonna keep going because GPS said it's just up here a little bit. I wanna check that on the way back and see if it's anything. Another blue arrow somebody spray painted. I don't know why people have to do things like that. Yeah, see all that uh, dirt piles? That's that's erosion, but a tailing pile will look something similar to that. If you could tell where it's kind of eroded off that rock. Interesting, this looks like an area where I would expect to see a lot of caves. I will say it's kind of an uneasy feeling in this valley. Maybe because it's a perfect place for an ambush, but just kind of a feeling that I'm not alone. Here's a, another strange bone. It's not a good sign when you see lots of bones leading into a valley. Vertebrate, I'm guessing. And again, about the size of a human, but it could be animal too. Valley of the Dead. All right. Now, way up on the cliff, I do see a tailings pile by an opening. And that, I believe, is a mine shaft. And that's probably the June bug mine way up on the cliff. So I'm gonna go as far as I can in this valley and then try to get up on that cliff and look inside that shaft. And I do see some openings up there with a bunch of debris outside it. So I would say that's probably the June bug mine. So let's keep on going and see if we can find a way to get up there. It's going to be difficult, but I'll try. You just never know what you're going to find when you come out here. Because Google Earth doesn't tell the whole story. It's a big help, it just doesn't tell the whole story. Almost looks like Petra Canyon, doesn't it? Only this is no petroglyph. I don't think. It looks like I spray painted on there or burned on there. A triangle inside of a circle. What does that mean? I don't know. Strange. Just never know what you're gonna find out here. Get another arrow pointing the way to something, the mine or something else. I don't know, I've never been here. All right, up there is what I believe to be the Junebug mine shaft. I could see a big, big tailing pile coming out of it, but getting up there is a different story. How can I safely get up there? I'm gonna try to go to the end of this valley, double back, and try to find a way up there. I'm not gonna do anything unsafe. I'm by myself as always, you could see. No camera crew, no nothing, just me. So if I can safely get up there, I will. Yeah, that's clearly the shaft up there. And I may have to come around here and climb up going to the back side of this rock to try to get up there. So I'm gonna go as far as I can here, just see if there's anything else, and then I'll come back and try to get up there. So just again, just to show you, um, that's almost a vertical cliff face. Can I climb it? Probably, but um, I think it's really dangerous. I think there's a serious risk of sliding down. And uh, I'm gonna try to go this way and come out the backside. I, I think that'll be easier, I'm hoping it will. But there's more than likely a shaft up there. I don't know if I can get in, but I did bring the night sun flashlight and we'll shine that in there and see how far it goes. But I wanna see what's around this bend, if there's anything else to see. There should be, there may be another shaft over there as well. I'm showing along the GPS. Interesting. There's kind of a uh, little cave, looks like a roost up there where a bird would sit, just like in Picture Canyon. I don't see a bunch of bird crap around, and I don't think that's a bird's nest, which is kind of interesting. It could be a, a roosting place for birds. Now, like Picture Canyon, the cliffs are getting narrow. And if I check Google Earth correctly, this should eventually dead end. Not too far from here. So there's some sheer cliff faces. At which point, we'll turn back and try our luck in getting up that hill to the Junebug Mine.
one of the addicting things about hiking like this is you always want to see what's right around the next turn. Is there something interesting, something spectacular? I don't know what you're expecting or what I'm expecting, but you always just want to see what's right around the next turn. Well, it's not really a dead end. I could turn back, but I'm not. I'm gonna keep going. Ugh. I don't see if there's anything else up here worth seeing. Wow. More bones. This is where the man-eating troll lives, I guess. Did someone put that bone there as they hiked out here? The thing that makes me nervous is that they kind of look human. I was not picture canyon, but it's a canyon. It's a strange canyon. It's getting rugged, but it's not dead end yet. Wow, look at these patterns. What years of flowing water do? Why do people do that? As tempting as it is, I'm not going to. Like I said, I try to leave. I try to leave nature the same way I found it. Wow, look at this, just like Picture Canyon, but more narrow. This might be that dead end, no? Nothing in there. Crawl space. More crawl space here. I think we can get up this. Do you? Yeah, let's give it a shot. Ugh. See in there? Just kind of a crawl space, it looks like. Not really a cave. A place for water pools and collection in the wintertime. <clears throat> I don't know if this is the dead end, 
but it's getting a little rugged. I don't know how much traction I have. Oh, a little bit of traction. I can probably. Well, if these rocks weren't so smooth, I could probably make it up there. Well, clearly this is the dead end. There's a sure cliff face, but I want to see what's up there, so I'm going to try. See if I can somehow get up on these rocks. I don't know if I can do it. This is tough. The rocks are really smooth. Well, This is clearly the end of the valley. There may be something up there and there may be something around the other side. I really kind of want to see what's up there though. I just don't see a place to put my hand. No hand holds. Right this. Okay. Not the smartest thing I've ever done. Curiosity killed the cat it may do me in too. But uh, I just don't see a safe way to do this. So, that's it. That's as far as we go. And there may for what be nothing out there, or it could keep on going. But I'm gonna drop a pin and check on Google Earth really well and see if there was anything up there, I doubt it. We'll come back down that valley and slide down these rocks and head out of here. I wanna see what was up there just as so much as you. And there may very well be nothing. But uh, as you know, I'm alone. And if there's a very real risk of me getting hurt, I'm not gonna take a chance and that's why I didn't. Could I have gotten up there? Yeah, probably. Well, after death situation, yeah, it would have been, it would have been tough. But uh, there's a very real risk of falling, slipping, uh, breaking a leg, getting a leg trapped in a, in a crack there. And I can tell you right now, help is not coming. I can almost guarantee I've got no signal in this tight valley. Ham radio isn't going to reach outside these rocks. This, uh, I will die out here. And taking a chance like that is very possible something that Kenny, Kenny Beach did. He may have taken such a chance and somehow gotten trapped and died. And those bones that you saw, for all we know, could be Kenny Beach's bones that were washed out of here in the uh, recent rains. Because I'm sure this is a torrential uh flood you can see you can see the way these uh kind of brush is kind of going this way obviously this is a huge waterfall and uh water is washing everything out of here and not really sure how much it did rain a lot recently not really extreme torrential downpours but it rained a lot and it could have washed some of those uh old bleached bones out of here which may very well have been human so let's navigate through this little crack and uh I have my glove for this here. What the heck, we'll leave the GoPro running just in case I fall or something like that. But um, yeah, I do have it on a, a floaty stick, but I can still use all four of my hands. And as always, I can drop the GoPro and pick it up. So while I'm holding it, I can drop it just as easy. So let's carefully get down here without falling. So far we're getting some okay traction. And uh, watch where we put our feet. There you go, just like that. That's it, onward. Now you saw it on the way in, here's an old dead cactus that more likely fell off the side of the mountain. That could be us if we fall. So we gotta be careful. Either fell or was washed off. Nature has a way of cleaning up and washing everything out. It's kind of a large beetle, it looks like, at the body of one. That's why I'm kind of keep my eyes open for anything that may have been unearthed during the recent rains. We've already seen some bones that could have been buried and unearthed and probably animal, but uh, these particular bones we saw today, um, I wouldn't be surprised if they were human, so got pictures of them in the video if you think they're human by all means um 
mention in the comments if you're a biologist or in the medical profession and you really think they're human mention the comments and or shoot me an email and we can discuss with the authorities that there may be some human bones out here and we all know who those could belong to Now rocks like this aren't too difficult to navigate. You just gotta watch where you put your step. You can twist an ankle, you can fall. You just gotta really be careful and watch where you're going. Which is why I hold the camera like this so I can watch where I'm going and hold the camera out and you can see everything out there. All right, so coming out of that really narrow valley, uh, it's kind of an outcropping up here, a little bit of debris and trash, and these outcroppings are, they can provide shelter if one wants to camp up here. Um, so I just kind of walk along here, see if there's an interesting lane around. A little bottle cap, rusted out, very old. Piece of wood. Looks like some metal debris, a can. Very old can. Pull tab. Just like grandpa used to drink. There's another can over there. Now for those who say I should pick up trash, why don't I pick up trash? How much trash I pointed out today? Do you think I'm gonna be carrying a big giant bag of trash with me in addition to all my gear? It just doesn't make sense. Believe me, I don't like litter any more than you do. But um, I'm out here for a purpose, and um, I'm not out here to collect trash, even though it's disturbing that people litter. Come on, we're almost at that, back to the June bug mine, which should be right over here somewhere. The points I mark on Guy GPS when I'm, when I'm back at home on my PC, for some reason, when I get to the field, aren't always accurate. The second shaft of the June bug mine shows right over here somewhere. And it could be on top of these rocks, um, but it's gonna take some effort to get up there. Could I do it? Yeah, absolutely. Even looks like there might be some tailings up there. Really hard to tell. I'll check when I get back over here, see if I can see anything, but I'm not gonna climb up there for nothing. Um, the actual shaft we saw earlier is around over here that I, I think I can get to. So like I said, I'm. I'm not going to climb up here for no reason if I don't see anything. And yes, the drone would be awesome to check that out. But again, drones are not permitted out here. I don't make the rules. I don't even agree with the rules. There's literally no reason why you sh why I shouldn't be able to bring a drone out here. But um, yeah, if I had a drone, I would be able to send it up there and see if there is a mine up there. But uh, drones are just not permitted. So like I said, we'll check and see if there's that other shaft and... Uh, I can make it up there, but I don't want to do this this hefty climb for no reason. Just in case there isn't anything up there. We still got two miles to go back to the truck, so I don't want to exert all my energy. Yeah, it's hard to say. Looks like there could be some tailings up there, I can't really tell. But you know that other mine, June bug, right over here. I think we can see over there from that shaft. So if we can get up to this shaft right over here, I think we could see what's over there. So let's um let's go on down and see if we can get up there, because that other shaft is just right up here. Like I all right, like I said, um I'm hearing gunshots echo through the uh the valley from the Clark County shooting complex. Like I said, this way I think it's going to be too tough to climb. So we're going to go that way. But right over here, I saw more trash, can, beer, and a water bottle, which in an emergency situation might be good to have. Somebody clearly dropped that. But yeah, um, I think that's too dangerous and slippery to climb that way, so like I said, I'm trying to find an easier way around there and uh, see if I can get up the, over there that way. 
Whether or not we can get inside the mine is a different story. There we go, this is a weird old flashlight. Clearly our Fenix Night Sun is much better than that old rail vac. So people have been out here. And indeed I could have driven up here. Should have been able to drive up here. Because there's more stuff to see today that we would have had time to see. There's a little barrel or some sort, lots of bullet holes in it. There you go. All right, let's focus on the task at hand and see if we can get up this. This is the interesting part. This is why you're, this is why you're watching. Hoping it's no snakes this time of year. Should be too cold for them. I can smell a slight herbal smell from uh, from some of these bushes. I'm carefully testing these rocks before I put my feet on them to make sure they're secure. And we may get to the top and find it's no easier to get to that mine shaft than it is over there, which means we may have to risk and get up there because I know people have been out there before. All right, so it's gotta be this way. Just like a set of stairs. Ugh. On the clock, 3.2 miles, hour and a half, 12.10. Had a big breakfast, but I'm starting to get hungry. And uh, I think we've got our scrambled eggs and sausage freeze dried. Um, I'm gonna take a break here real quick because looking over there, I just found that second shaft. Yeah, it's up there. It's way up there. There is indeed a second shaft up there. But how far does it go in? It's gonna be a pretty hefty, cl hefty climb getting up there. But uh, we came here for June bug and that's what that is. It's even a cave way up there at the top. You see kind of by that wide zigzag? How far did that go in? And that shaft up there should go in more than just a pocket cave. I don't know if it's a prospect shaft or not, but uh, it's a hellacious climb getting up there. Clearly not a professional mine. It's a small, probably hand dug mine. And if this tailing pile is, is all the rocks that have ever been taken out, then it doesn't go in very far. So I'm kind of iffy about climbing up there. So we'll see, we'll climb up to this one first and try to make it and see, uh, see if we can make it to the other one, see how much energy I have. Like I said, it's still about a two mile hike back to the truck. And I was thinking this was gonna be a quick and easy day. No such luck. <clears throat> All right, well, the higher we go, the closer we are to this, this June bug mine. It definitely has two shafts on different sides of the valley. All right. We're gonna have to go straight up this way, which is rugged as hell. There's another shaft way up there. Ah, oh, this is not gonna be easy. Now, if you've been to the June bug mine, to the shaft we're going, you know, an easier way, by all means, mention in the comments, let me know. A lizard or something just saw running back there. I think he ran into a rock. I think I can get him on film. I hope this ran away. Anyway, keep on going through the bushes, over the rocks, up this hill.
carefully watching where we're stepping. Lifting ourselves up. I got a thorn on my pants. Oh wow. This hill is kind of a little beast. Alright, this is doable. I may have to break for lunch by the shaft. It's kind of a cool rock outcropping, a little shelter right there. I'm gonna go straight up this way. Get our bearing and see which direction we have to go. Okay. See the first two miles, thought this would be an easy day, easy hike day, didn't you? No such luck. Not for us. What I'm doing right now is trying to clear off a space to put my foot on where there's no loose rocks so I can carefully lift myself up, trying to maintain at least three points of contact at all times so I don't slide, which is going to be very easy to do. Okay, we're being very careful, watching our step, we're almost crawling up this hill toward the top, yeah, okay, we're here, tailings pile right there, and we're going to have to climb directly up it. Let's go over here first. Oh. Look at this. A rock circle. No campfire. Maybe somebody attended a camp here. No burnt wood or anything, so I don't know if they did. Now, I don't know if I can make it to that shaft. But I will say this, once I get up there and I have a better vantage point, I'll pull out the binoculars and see if I can see what it looks like, if it's even worth going up there. Whether that small shaft or the cave up on the hill. Think about these mountains, there's always so much to see. You can't see everything and it can be misleading because you see something that looks interesting once you get to it, it's, uh, it's not. So there we go, there's our climb. It's going to be tough. It's going to be slippery. But uh, to get to Junebug, we've got to do it. Oh, Las Vegas looks so beautiful from up here in the mountains. You could barely see the houses out there. One of those is mine. Can't really tell which. But where we need to go is up here, to the Junebug mine. You can see how steep this is. It's a very steep tailings pile. I don't know how packed it is, if it's really soft or if it's firm packed. If it's firm packed, it's easy to climb. If it's soft, um, we're going to slide down real easy. So I'm going to try it. And I'm going to roll film. I've climbed up things like this before. They're tough. They're dangerous. Ugh. So far so good, just uh, nothing but a thing. Now if we slide and can't stop, look at that. There's a good chance we'll be hurt. So I can see what looks like footprints here. I'm gonna try to go the same way other people have undoubtedly gone. I'm hoping Maybe get up over there. Oh, it's like walking on marbles. Oh, wow, this is dangerous. I know. I know. But I come this far and I can't turn back. Oh, my goodness. Just 
to show you. That's uh, that's where we're climbing up. <sighs> Taking a quick break here. I think I think what people are doing is going, kind of hugging these rocks over here <sighs> instead of climbing through this loose stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to make my way to these rocks <sighs> and kind of come on the side where I can hold these rocks to pull myself up. <sighs> which is what I should have done from down there. Let's do it carefully. Okay. This is the dangerous part. But, all right, I'm on firm footing. Uh, anybody feeling nervous, sick, woozy, other than me? Oh my goodness, look at this. Okay. So what I've got to do is skirt the side of this, go up this way, and make it up there. And hopefully make it up there safely. We are rolling film. I'm trying to stay close to these rocks. In fact, I am going to climb these rocks. Why am I climbing that loose stuff? Look at this, much easier. Uh, much easier than to this point. But the shaft is right up there. So let's come over here and just know but if we slip down, we got a barrel cactus waiting for us. These are no doubt footprints that other people have climbed up here. This rock is, that's where we gotta climb, right there along the sides. And it's very slippery and dangerous. But it looks like some footprints that other people have been here. Oh man, this better be worth it. I'm like literally crawling on all fours, trying to get a grip. Coming down is gonna be real interesting. Look at that. One wrong move and it's it's gonna suck. Okay. But man, we're almost there. Look at that. A little bit more. Carefully. Oh, shoot. Man, what an endurance quest. I'm watching the ground, but I'm also looking up every now and then to see what's in front of me. Closer. Yes, I am crawling on all fours. Closer. It's getting easier. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh. There's a shaft up here. Somebody spray painted their name. Holy shit. Oh my god, there's a shaft and it goes in. Holy crap. Ladies and gentlemen, we're caving today. It's a beautiful view of Las Vegas. It's a great day today. Um, you can see the city down there. We are in the mountains, the Sheep Range, just south of, uh, well, the base of Gas Peak mountain area, exploring the Junebug Mine. Um, we've trekked several miles today. On the clock, I've got 3.35 uh, miles, one hour, 51 minutes, thousand foot elevation gain. And you can see what we had to climb to get up here. It's, it's significant, it was a hell of a climb. But um, the fruits of our labor are here. We found the Junebug mine, there is a shaft and it goes in quite a ways, a long ways actually. So what I'm gonna do now is, I've got the Fenix LR35R night sun i've nicknamed and this is 10,000 lumens it's extremely bright i'm also going to turn on the media mod um, if something happens in there if there's something in there uh, i want to be able to draw with the flashlight grab my sidearm 
and engage whatever might be in there. I don't think there's anything in there, but I'm just saying, what if there's a mountain lion in there? Um, the last thing I want to do is have to use a firearm, but, um, you know, safety first. So at any rate, I'm going to turn on the medium mod light. And I'm going to turn on the night sun. Full. And here we go. It is significantly warmer inside here than it is outside for some reason. And I know a lot of you say don't enter these old mines because of cave-ins, but this is sheer rock. It's not dirt, that's rock. And I'm being very careful. And clearly people have been in here before. You see how deep this goes in. God, it keeps going. Jeez, this thing goes way in there. Look at this. It's an old pipe or something, probably ventilation. I can assure you I've got my hand on my sidearm right now and the GoPro and the flashlight in the other hand because I am alone and I don't know what's in here, but this is, uh, this is the deepest cave or mine I've seen out here. Looks like maybe a side shaft was dug there. Now, uh, there's some wood, maybe there was a railroad track in here. It's never a good idea to enter these old mines. Um, and just to show you, that's where it came from. You can't even see, um, can't even see the light. Old mines are dangerous. They can be filled with hazardous gases, um, dangerous minerals, uh, and other things. So, do not attempt something like this. Now, I do have a plastic bum cap that I have for this situation, but I did not bring it because. Quite frankly, I was not expecting such a big mine shaft. It is very warm in here, much warmer than outside. And this might be the end of it. Wow, look at that sparkle there, you see that? Is that some kind of ore? Is that silver? Oh my God, that might be some kind of ore or something. This is the end. I don't know what this sparkly stuff is. And I know you're not supposed to take things, but I want to get a sample. Well, it looks like quartz, actually. But clearly, this is the end of the mine. And you can see, there was nothing in here. There's some old cloth or something. You can see where people have been digging. Now, you want to see how dark it is in here? Look at that. All right, that's just the, just the GoPro medium mod. Medium mod is cutting off. There it is. No medium mod cut off. Okay. The battery in the medium mod may be dead. I actually forgot to charge it before I left, so that may be what's going on. I try to think of everything, but uh, clearly I forgot to charge the medium mod battery. Now look at that. Look at this material here. Can you see it? Um, it's almost like a quartz material. Gypsum, I don't think it's gypsum, but there's clearly some shine to it. Well, it's warm in here. And uh, there, there's a rock or something. I'm gonna bring this just as a sample. Put it in my pocket just in case. Just so I can look out in the light and see what kind of minerals are mining in here. So I'm kind of crouching over and uh, keeping my head low. I don't hit my head on these rocks, that would suck. It always makes me nervous, make sure I'm not being followed, but clearly we've 
been never square into the mine and there's nothing in here. Thank goodness. Crouching down again, crouching way down, and uh, hopefully you can see everything. I'm trying to hold the light and the GoPro at the same time so you could see everything inside the mine. Look at these old, look at these old nails. So just if you're wondering, the media model doesn't work obviously, the battery's, I'm assuming it's dead. Our night sun flashlight, if that goes out, I do have another flashlight on me, the uh, Streamlight Protac 90 that I did charge last night. So just in case of emergency, I've got that stream light. And of course in the total dark, I could just, uh, you know, kind of feel my way around where, I'm, where I am and get out of here. I had to. All right, so now I can stand up a little bit more. Don't have to crouch down. There's like an old spike or something. Really, no reason to take any artifacts out of here. Just a bunch of junk. I know. I know Kenny liked to take the kind of stuff, but I don't like to take a lot of junk. Side shaft, possibly a ventilation hole. go there's uh there's our way out let's adjust the light a little bit so you can get a get a better look there you go lowest setting looks a little creepier doesn't it make sure we're not being followed Obviously. That's where we just came from. And that's it. That's our way out. Alright everyone, so you can see that's the this is the June bug mine. It, uh, it actually goes in quite a ways back there, and uh, we went to the end, there's nothing down there. It's probably, I don't know, maybe an eighth of a mile in. It goes quite a ways, but it's it's pretty much just rock. There's nothing in there, no debris. Uh, not really, there's some wood, some nails, maybe some uh, ventilation piping, but uh, all the way at the end, I didn't see anything. There's some strange looking shiny minerals. Any gem experts, you can uh, comment on that and see what you think those shiny minerals are, but uh, our Fenix LR35R served as well. It's, uh, it's extremely bright and helped illuminate the mine. You can see how bright it is, um, different settings and whatnot. So uh, that's about it. Yeah, let's, uh, let's head out of here and uh, I hope you enjoyed looking at that mine, but let's get out of here because we're, uh, we're very close to the, ex the exit and I'm gonna pull out the binoculars and see if I can see what's on the other side of the canyon, if there's anything worth climbing up over there. So yeah, that's the mine over there. And um, you can't see it through here with the GoPro. So I've been using the uh, binoculars, the uh, Steiner T1028 um, binoculars, which are really awesome. And um, I can see, I can't see all the way in the mine, but I can see there's like a, a piece of wood kind of bracing the top. So that tells me it's more than just a prospect hole. Uh, so what I am gonna do, um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna climb this hill because you know what? I drove all the way out here, and to be perfectly honest, I don't see coming back just to check this mine shaft. So we're gonna seize the moment. We're gonna we're gonna um, as soon as I get back down here, I'm gonna climb up there and see what's in there. Uh, but first, I think I'm gonna eat lunch because it's 1 p.m. and I don't want to do it on an empty stomach. So we'll break into the bag here and uh, grab our lunch. Let's see what's on tap today. It's a breakfast skillet. That's fine. And uh, got an extra bottle of water to get it started with. And now I don't have a cooking stove with me, not a huge deal. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get under that, um, that kind of um, outcropping over there, that kind of flat area by that enclave, and that's where I'm gonna have lunch. I could go back in the mine and have lunch, but I'm gonna get started and go down there and have lunch right there. And then I'll go the rest of the way down and try to climb up the other side and uh, see if I can see in that second shaft over there, because I mean, we're here, why not?
and then we'll make that two mile trek back to the truck. You just never know what you're going to find when you come out here to the Desert National Wildlife Refuge. I'll be honest. I thought I'd be able just to drive to the mine and kind of walk up to the shaft. And if this road wasn't closed, I probably could have driven to it. But it was closed, which means I had to hike about two miles. Not a big deal. Um, but we came out here, and then I knew the mine was high up, which we are. And then this tailings pile is what we had to climb up. And take a look at that. Look how loose that rock is. And... Um, as you know, as I've repeated myself, for those who are just now joining, there's the shaft. Um, we'll walk over here. I just finished the live stream, and I didn't go over to the shaft. I actually wanted to live stream from inside the shaft, but um, I kept losing signal as it got closer. So yeah, that's the shaft uh, that you just saw. And um, what we're going to do now is I just put out the binoculars and took a look over there across the way and there is another shaft over there I'm going to try to walk up to you can see how steep it is how dangerous it is it's 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 a monster it's a beast it's definitely a beast so I'm going to try it but for right now I'm going to come down a little bit and try to get to this first level here have lunch and on a full stomach get all the way back down and then come up the other side and check that other shaft over there I mean we're here that's what we're here for it's uh I'm just going to roll film on this because this is dangerous. You never know what's going to happen. I'm going to try to work to keep my balance. Now, hopefully it seems a little easier going down than it was going up. Sliding is fine. A little bit of sliding is fine. It's that unstoppable sliding that I'm trying to avoid because you could see how far down we would go. But um, it does seem much... Ooh. It seems easier coming down than it does going up until you lose your balance like that. So let's carefully skirt in the side of these rocks. Oh wow, this is this is dangerous. I feel like I'm skiing or something. I'm carefully making my way over here. Stepping into people's footprints. Obviously, this is where people have gone before. I'll try to come over here to this little enclave and possibly have a lunch yeah all right it's kind of a little cave here out of the sun and looks like it might be a decent spot here see if we can clean some of this rocks off make a little place to sit see how this is gonna work for us oh yeah this will work nicely all right, take off the pack and have lunch. All right, like I said, on tap is a breakfast skillet, and I've got some bottled water here to kind of get it started and moisten it up, and then uh, we'll pack up our backpack and head over to the other side and see if we can get up to that uh, up to that mine shaft up there and see what's inside. All right, well, I'm waiting for that uh, to kind of moisten up, and no, I didn't buy that little stove yet. It's not a huge deal for me. Um, I can just eat it cowboy style. Uh, wet ones, clean the hands. I've got some other snacks in here, uh, beef jerky, cliff bar, um, hand sanitizer, and uh, courtesy of Southwest Airlines, a snack mix. So thanks you, Southwest, for that. All right, finished lunch. Had a nice lunch break, restroom break. Um, as promised, all my trash I picked up, I'd carry it out with me because that's how I roll. Uh, speaking of rolling, take a look at this hill. Look how over there, it's almost vertical. We had to climb up this bad boy just to get to the June bug mine. So what we gotta do now is climb down. We're gonna try to skirt the sides and uh, get down there. And then I'm gonna try to climb that other side over there to get to that shaft way up there. It's, uh, it's gonna be tough. And honestly, what I'm worried about is towards the top. Um, it's kind of iffy. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what, if I, if I don't think I could safely get up to the top, I'm not going to. I wanna see what's in there as bad as you do. Yeah, drone would be great, but uh, we have what we have so I'm gonna try to climb up there if I can make it all the way up great if I can't um, You know it is what it is um, But I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. So let's try to get down here safely and get to the other side feel better after eating lunch and uh, Hopefully that'll give us the energy we need to get up all right, I think we're ready to do this. GoPro batteries at 22%, but I think we've got enough to roll video for the whole way down. If not, we'll be rolling down ourselves. So without further ado, look at this, uh, this steep incline here. We're going to try to make it down. Rolling video the whole way. Whoa. 
and losing our balance. That's not ever a good sign. So I'm carefully, and if I have to slide down on my butt or crawl on all fours, I will. But you can see how difficult this is. Good. I'm trying to stay close enough to these rocks here so I can grab a hold if I have to. As you can see, I'm really sliding down quite a bit. Which we may end up keep sliding, but if I could slide an angle down there, we'll be fine. I just don't want to slide off a cliff. Oh my goodness, look at this. All right. This is a weird feeling. Look at this. This is a really weird feeling. It's like you're walking and flowing something. Wow. That was nuts. But we made it. Not all the way down yet, but we made it without too much difficulty. Now, can we get all the way to the top? It is really, really iffy, really iffy. I can get up this rocky area there, but once you start where those tailings are, I don't know if I can get up there. Clearly some human being got up there at one point in time, to dig it, so there's gotta be a way. So, we're not going down something like this. We're going to come down right here, which doesn't seem so bad. But it's still dangerous. Now that soft rock, that was like some really deep um, tailings rock that we're going in. My feet were sinking and, and because my feet were sinking, it was actually helping us gain stability. Now something like this, where it's kind of loose rock on, on hard dirt, you're not gonna sink in, you got no stability. You start sliding, you're gonna keep going. And uh, you fall and hit yourself on a rock or something, it could be pretty dangerous. So, carefully, making a way down. Keep in mind, I am watching where I'm going, and you, and you have to. You have to really keep a sharp eye where you're going, because one wrong step and it's all over. Looking over there, that rock is kind of a, <coughs> it's kind of a weird uh, cave or something, a little cave in a rock, carved out rock. Anyway. Let's keep going. That's not why we're here. We gotta get down this hill safely. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. Ugh. Go through this brush. How did I get up here? Over here. <sighs> Maybe just lunch break, but it's starting to get chilly out here. It's uh, 1.48 and GPS is still paused. Let me unpause this. There we go. Put the glove back on and on the clock. 3.51 miles, two hours, 44 minutes, thousand foot elevation gain. And uh, we did pause for lunch. So she's been out here a little bit longer than that. And as you remember, we started this about a quarter mile into the hike. So I've actually gone farther than it says. Careful that barrel cactus. All right, how did I get out of here? I think it's gotta be over here somewhere. 
Now don't get your hopes up about seeing what's in that shaft. I want to see what's in there as much as you do, but like I said, towards the top, those cliffs, if I can't find a safe way up, I'm not going to do it. I don't take chances out here, not alone. Okay, just got to be careful here. Secure footing. And, uh, there we go. Just like a set of stairs, huh? There we go. Almost to the valley, almost down there. Oh my God, that scared me. I almost lost my footing there. That was my fault. I didn't, I didn't carefully look where I was putting my foot. And that just goes to show you what happens if you're not careful where you step. All right, we made it down. Here's that uh, barrel with bullet holes in it again. And uh, back up the valley a little bit. Two miles that way is the truck, which should be fairly easy. It's all downhill, fairly flat. Like I said, there's a road that should have been open, but isn't. Another kind of metal barrel something there. All right, there's Junebug up there. You know what's in Junebug, we conquered it. We've got our way up there. Here's Junebug number two, the second shaft. Can we get it? Now, if you recall the Beast series video, Beast 1, Beast 2, and uh, Night Beast, we climbed a hill on, not unlike this. This is a beast, and to the top is a monster. Because that looks like a lot of cliffs, so I can't see from down here. So we're going to just have to keep our fingers crossed and hope that once we get to the top, there is a way for us to get all the way to that shaft. Because I saw a piece of wood bracing it open, which leads me to believe that it's more than just, just a prospect hole. And prospect holes are nothing more than just a small hole in the ground to see if it's worth digging a mine there. This is definitely a beast. All right, that's what we gotta climb. Okay, fresh battery in the GoPro because I'm pretty sure you're gonna want me to roll a video for this whole thing. This is gonna be a beast of a climb. And if I could find a way up there, there's a shaft that uh, hopefully goes in as much as that other June bug mine shaft did go in. So um, if you're ready, without further ado, let's, let's climb this beast carefully and safely and make it up to the second shaft and see what's in there. And to think I thought this would be a quick and easy day. Drive in, find the shaft or not, and drive out. No such luck. This is, this is, this is fast turning into an epic adventure. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm assessing the easiest way to go. These rocks, I think I'll slide down, so I'm gonna try to go this way. And I should take a small leap over here. Leap of faith, if you would. And then climb these rocks. Let's see. Oh, shit, I saw my shadow move like that. I thought it was like a snake or something. Oh my gosh. I know it looks easy. But uh, you really need to be in top physical condition for this kind of stuff. This hiking and climbing takes a lot out of you. So for those that keep their body in good condition, your reward is being able to do things like this. Okay. And I tell you, when you're out here climbing in the zone focused on these rocks, focused on not falling, it's pretty hard to keep thinking about whatever may be bothering you in life. So not only is it a great way to stay in shape, it's a great way to clear your mind. 
And when you're out here doing it for a purpose, such as finding an old mine, it's even better because there's a reward out of it. Look, this sparkle, I thought that was gold or something. Can you imagine that was a gold nugget? How much that'd be worth? Oh well. Making progress. And you know what? Take a look at the tailing pile there. Take a look at the tailing pile over there. If I didn't know any better, I'd say there's another freaking shaft over there. Holy crap, and I could have just came along there and climbed up. Is that a second shaft or no? Or is that the first shaft? That's the second one. I'll be damned. <sighs> Clearly I need to pull out the binoculars when I get a little bit higher and see if there is a second shaft. Cause that's more tailing piles right there. That's more tailings right there than it is on this side. So if there's a second shaft over there that we didn't see, it may go in even deeper. And I'm gonna have to check that out. Oh, wow. We may be here a while. Glad I ate lunch. Now, it's a good idea to never eat all your food in one sitting. I've still got a Cliffs Bar and some beef jerky. If we do stay here a while. But I wasn't expecting to stay here past dinner time. But if there's a second shaft over there, man, I'd like to see it. I don't want to have to hike two miles again just to retrace my steps to see what I should have saw the first time. All right, making progress on this beast. We're actually getting close. We're almost there. When we start getting dizzy and lightheaded, it's time to, to stop, take a quick break, quick rest, and then continue on. Yeah, I'm panting, but trust me, it's not because I'm out of shape. We might just be able to get up there. I can't tell if there's a, uh, a second shaft over there on that left side. We gotta get higher. See, this section not a big deal. It's, once we get that last section of these rocks, I gotta make sure I can get up there safely. I think I can. Keep seeing these sparkly rocks here. Thinking, what if all this was gold? All this was gold. I'll tell you what it'd be like. What happened to SB Vegas Adventures? He stopped making videos. Nobody's seen him or heard from him. And those who know would be like, oh yeah, he came in some money. He bought an island and uh, just kind of lives out there. They're like, oh, okay. Yeah. No. I sure as a doubt we'll find the mother load out here. But you never know what we'll find. Oh wow, look at this view. 
Okay. Okay. Keep going. I do think I can get to that shaft. I'm almost positive I can. I just gotta be careful on these rocks. See, just like I said, it's stairs. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm stepping on a slippery rock because it is a long way down. And if I get hurt too, you guys are gonna be mad at me for not posting the video on time. Okay. Give me a hell of a view up here, that's for sure. Now, I don't want to go too fast and end up someplace where, um, where I don't want to go. Oh. Okay, okay, time for a quick break. All right, I took a second to catch my breath. I can go this way and see if it's any easier. I want to go straight up these rocks, and I think I'm going to go straight up these rocks. From a distance, it looks like sure cliff face, but up close, it's almost like stairs. And this is what I'm going to try to do. These rocks are rough enough, so my feet are sticking to them like sandpaper. You just got to watch you don't lose your balance. Man, we are almost there. Look at that. There's one of the caves up there, too. I've got to check out. Okay. Do I step here to loose rocks or step over here? We're stepping over here. Pulling ourselves up. Watching where we step. Oh man, we're almost there. Look at that. Okay. Pretty sure this is the best way. Watch that barrel cactus. Okay. Oh crap, we're almost here. Oh my god. Okay. There's several small caves and openings up here. Okay. This way. Oh my god, that's a big cave. I don't see that mine tailings pile. I just see caves. I just see caves. That's something that's been dug out. This is a cave. There's one over there too. But I don't know where that freaking mine is. Is that the mine? I saw a mine over here, now I can't see it now that I'm up here. Okay, I'm just gonna go over there, check that one, check this one, check this one, check over there. We're bound to run into it. I know I didn't imagine it. You saw it. It's over here somewhere. All right, this looks like it might just be a little enclave or something. But I think I'm gonna go up there, come down to this, and come down over there. Where the crap was that mine we saw? Jeez. I'm 
behind there? Not. I don't think it's there. Now if you look over there to the uh, to the right, that's the June bug mine. There is a shaft there that you can't even see. Look to the left, that tailings pile. It looks like there's a shaft there. Look straight ahead over there. Possible prospect holes. Look above. Possible prospect holes or mines. This cave, this mountain, even up there there's the tailing piles. This mountain is full of caves. And clearly we're going to have to get to them all somehow. But uh, first one is this somehow. Was it over there? Was that it? I don't know. All right, let me try to get to this see if that's a cave. I don't think it is. And we'll come over here and then down and over there and then back down again. And I think I see a piece of wood in the ground over there. So that's got to be something. Oh my gosh, I didn't think this would be an epic adventure. But it's sure turning out into one. And a dangerous one too. Some of these mine shafts and caves you can't tell because they go straight down. So that's why it looks like it's nothing, but it could be something over there. So what you gotta do is kind of look from a distance, plan your route, and plan the way out you're gonna go. All right. Animal droppings. We're close. I see what looks like ore. Is it a mine? Is it natural? Is it absolutely nothing? It's certainly not the mine we saw from over there. It could be a prospect pit. I told you these videos are as they happen, so I don't know what's gonna happen any more than you do. And looking down, it's a prospect pit. It's a prospect pit. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna see for right now. Now you remember, a prospect pit is what they dig to see if they want to build a mine here. So uh, they dug this out, saw some more, uh, and uh, didn't dig any further. See these weird ore patterns here. Round droppings, I'm guessing bighorn sheep, pellets. For some reason didn't go any further. So I'm gonna take a break, take some pictures. To go down the hill a little bit more, try to find that mine we saw. There's definitely a hole, De or a shaft, There's definitely a shaft there. All right, so the uh, the June bug mine over there, here's that ore sample I took out. I don't know if you can see it in the light here. It's all white. This was what shining in the light. You can see a little uh, shine there. Uh, that might be quartz. Uh, it could be gypsum. I'm not sure what material this is, so if you know rocks, uh, go ahead and comment down below. But uh, I don't want to take it with me. There's just really no reason to take this with me. And who knows, it could be a hazardous mineral. You never know. There is um, arsenic and other, other nasties out here. Um, so it's staying right there. But I want to show you real quick this prospect pitch. You can kind of see um, the ore where people had been mining and digging. And here's a piece of it here. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of ore this is. It could be iron. It's a little heavy, so I'm suspecting it is iron. I don't really have a magnet to test it, but uh, yeah, this could be iron ore. I'm not sure. Uh, like I say this feels a little heavy. And uh, around here, you can see this veins, and there, this this is what they were digging. So when they dig a mine, um, these prospect pits, they start digging, and they see this vein here. This this stuff is what they're extracting. And when they take it out, it looks like this. And I'm almost certain this is iron because it's so heavy and kind of a rust colored. Um, but it's it's hard to say what it is, but yeah, this uh, if it's iron, I guess they just melt it down and turn it into metal that they use for whatever they use for. But yeah, that's what I'm suspecting it is. But uh, what am I gonna do with iron ore? I'm leaving it here, of course. There's a whole uh, whole vein of it, kind of rust colored. And you can see it right there. That's what they mine. That's their mining here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down. Go around the corner over there and try to find that actual mine shaft that we saw from the other side of the hill. Let's go. I'm gonna just roll film on this because this is gonna be kind of dangerous. 
I know you guys like this dangerous stuff. Keeps you on the edge of your seat. Okay. I know what I want to do. I'm gonna come to this rock right over here and uh, before I navigate to what may be some other tunnels over there um, and try to find that shaft. It's got to be around here somewhere, maybe over there, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna pull up the binoculars and see if there's a, a shaft over there on the left side and check out some of those little small, uh, excuse me, small um, holes up on top which look like my shafts as well so uh, we'll be right back all right so i've been here a good five minutes or so with these steiner binoculars uh looking across the way at that second tailings pile on the left i do not believe there's a shaft in that tailings pile but if you look above it if you can see i don't think you could see with the gopro there are several one two three four five seven or eight shafts eight mine shafts above that so that's a tremendous amount of material and uh, those shafts more than likely do go in so i also see a wooden structure like a, a small table type thing uh part of a table or something i see what looks like could be uh, rocks put down there could be walkways over there uh, but one thing i can tell you right now is there is no way up there uh, you cannot you cannot get up there from this valley from way down in that valley it's just it's too steep um even the the mine shaft i went to was a stretch and you can see it right there uh for these two big tailing piles we just went into the one on the right and that was a little challenging getting to it now if we went up this little um i don't know kind of like a little valley right there maybe but there is some steep sheer cliff faces that i don't think we can make it up the only way the only way i think to get to these is somehow from the other side and i think up there on the top uh coming down you can you can get to some of these it's going to be dangerous but i think it can be done i'll have to do a google earth recon to see if it's possible and see how to access the other side of this mountain but at this point i do not think i can get to those shafts safely i just don't think i'm not from this side i think whoever dug these um somehow came in from on top of the mountain and came down to them and they somehow got on top of the mountain there's obviously a pass somewhere so we went down to the end of the valley we couldn't get up that way it's steep cliff so down that way it's got to be like a hell of a hike far off from here um to come to the back way to get to the top of this 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 hill in front of us and they come down to where these uh these these shafts are and they may be nothing more than just holes in the ground uh which is completely fruitless i mean it's kind of cool the one we went into went in a ways but these other ones even though there's so many of them there may just be holes in the ground um it's probably why they haven't been filled in or why nobody's been out there it's just so hard to get to them so yeah if i can find a way to get to the top of this mountain on another hike another day maybe i can i can get to them uh it looks like there may be some you know walkways in the side of the cliff that might have been made somehow years ago um i see rocks kind of like stabilizing a, a place to walk or something uh but yeah so from here i just don't think i can do it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to come over here and check out these two um shafts there's one on on this side and one right here um and then try to find that hole that i saw on the other side and i know it's a it's a it's a shaft because it's got a um a piece of wood on top to kind of brace it so there's many more a lot more mine shafts out than i thought there was so let's uh pack up our bag and get to it all right let's carefully navigate up over there there's a piece of wood in the ground and some disturbed dirt so there might be a shaft right there and then we're going to carefully come down and then up over there and then there i think there's another shaft around the corner so let's uh let's go carefully take a look and like always i'm going to roll film because this is this is pretty dangerous right here as long as we take our time and are careful should be all right watch out for cactuses like this beautiful or they'll ruin your whole day So 
So sometimes this stuff isn't as hard as it looks. I didn't think we'd get this far, but we did. And uh, I'm not gonna take chances out here on something really dangerous. But if I can safely do something, I will. So here is a piece of wood in the ground. Here's a cave dug, here's some ore, and it's another prospect pit. They started a mine shaft here. See the vein, the ore that they were digging out right here. This is what they were digging, iron ore. It feels like iron. But they never finished it. I don't know why they started, but didn't finish it. Imagine hundreds of years ago, the miners digging this. If they were to look out in the valley and see the strip down there, I imagine it would look very, very different from back in the day. Yeah, you might not be able to see it, but I could see the entire Las Vegas Strip. Stratosphere Hotel, look carefully. I can't really zoom on the GoPro, but uh, if you look carefully, you could see it out there. So let's carefully come down. This other shaft that I, that I hope is right around the corner, I don't think it's a prospect pit. I think, it's, I think it might be an actual shaft. So I saw a tailings pile and a wood brace on top and we saw it from, from right over there. So it's gotta be around here somewhere. And I'm gonna watch this loose rock. Just looking for a place to put my feet. Cause I don't want to start sliding. Need a better look over here. No, I don't want to go down there. I want to go around the corner over there cause I think that's where it is. That it has to be over there. It has to be it. All right. This loose rock makes me real nervous. I don't want to go back up and down and around. So. Hold on. Just looking at some of this ore here. And the off chance we'll get lucky and find a gold nugget. But as far as luck's concerned, I'll just be happy not falling getting home safely. Okay. Oh. Slip right there. All right. That doesn't look like the shaft either. Geez, where the hell is it? It can't be higher. We saw a hole. I saw a hole, where the hell is it? Weird. Is that it? Is that what we saw? Can't be. It just can't be. Or can it? There's a little tiny crevice over here. like a prospect pit. I can't see in there. Can you? I, I don't have eyes on this, but it looks like a prospect pit. So hopefully you can see what's in there. Are these three just prospect pits? I 
I saw an opening. But where is it? This can't be it. Is that dark discoloration what I thought was a piece of wood bracing the opening? Couldn't be. Guess I won't know until I get back down there. That may be what we saw. Disappointing. But from this vantage point, I could see other caves up over there, or not caves, but mine shafts. I just need to know how to get to the top of this mountain. Can't get it there from there, from that way, because there's steep cliffs. And over there, you'd have to go way around. Might as well roll film for this. Um, yeah, is that what I saw? I'm gonna be disappointed if, well, I am disappointed. There were three holes up here and they're all prospect pits. They don't even go in. But across over there, that looks promising. So maybe there'll be a part two, who knows? For now, let's just get down safely. I'm going to put my feet. Now I'm kind of interested to see what this looks like from the ground now that we've been up here and I've seen it firsthand. Careful. I think we still got two miles back to the truck. And uh, I did promise one more mine shaft after this. So yes, there is a mine shaft we're gonna stop at on the way home and I'll show you inside that one. I think we should have gone that way over the rocks. It would have been easier instead of through this tailings here. There's a can, Pepsi, old style Pepsi. Ugh. Not a pull tab, but uh, I don't think you can see that logo for a while. And again, for those asking me why well, I don't pick up trash, if you watched the whole video, you saw how much trash we've seen out here so far. I'm gonna go look here in a big old trash bag. You can only do so much.
Yeah, there they are up there. Well, that's what happens. Now, if we had a drone, we easily could have seen those are prospect pits and saved our time, but for some strange reason, some government bureaucrat thinks drones shouldn't be permitted out here. I don't know, maybe they interfere with uh, flights of vultures or something, who knows, but at any rate, it is what it is. And half the fun is hiking out there and seeing for yourself, right? Through this dangerous terrain. <clears throat> Making progress, getting down this beast. Okay, lost some balance. I'm all right. No injuries that time. Making progress towards the bottom. Lost my balance again. Whatever happens, you get close towards the finish point and you start getting careless. That's why you gotta be careful. Are we there yet? Workout. This is why you gotta work out every day. Okay, almost there. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I climbed this far. It's like climbing down an endless set of stairs. Oh my gosh. Oh. Still. <clears throat> oh. And with a hop, skip, and a jump. We made it. Holy crap. What a freaking workout. Now, that's what we saw. Let's see if we get a better look down here. Yeah, I would say more than likely that prospect pit is what we saw. Can't really tell from up here, but I think that's what it was. But just go to show you when you're down here, you can't really tell what you're getting to. And see so even up there towards the far left to the top, looks like another cave up there. That may be nothing more than a prospect pit or a pocket cave. Because you see something on these hills from a distance, it looks like it goes in and it doesn't. Oh, and you exert all this energy. Climbing up the hill, on the clock, four miles, three hours, 40 minutes, 1300 foot elevation gain. Stick a fork at me, I'm done. Two miles back to the truck. Um, I'm not gonna ramble on, but if I see something interesting, I'll record it. But don't leave yet. I promise one more mine shaft. And on the way back, we are going to explore one more mine shaft. And uh, this one goes in a little ways. 
and uh, there's a corner that you can't get around because there's a deep a steep drop off and I brought a long eight foot PVC pole that I'm gonna tape the GoPro on and peek around that corner if I, if I can. Um, but this medium mod's not working, so maybe I could tape that uh, flashlight I have on there as well. So we'll see if I can rig something and peek around the corner once and for all and find out what, what's in there. So that's the game plan on the way home. And I still gotta get through that hellacious um, obstacle, that off-road dip ditch uh, that we had a tough time getting through on the way on the way out here. So got that looking forward to. Um, let's uh, carefully walk back. It should be a cakewalk hopefully from here on out. If I'm tired and you know, my legs are sore. But uh, yeah, let's get back to the truck and we'll uh, head to that last mine shaft. You can see the ground pressed down, tire tracks here. Uh, that off that that uh, road close sign i'm sure has been there for a while so uh somebody's been out here i'm guessing recently because the road's still pressed down like this in the recent rain you wouldn't really see tire marks like this but uh clearly people disregard the sign they want to come out here they want to see uh the june bug mine or do whatever they're going to do out here and indeed i could have driven out here but um I try to obey the law the best I can, and I can tell you right now, there are personnel with the Desert National Wildlife Refuge who watch my videos. And um, I like to maintain a good relationship with them and keep their trust because they've been a great source of information. So sometimes when you uh, stay on the straight and narrow, there are advantages, and that's what I'm, I'm hoping I can gain respect by uh, following the law and doing things the right way, but still having some fun. All right, pretty easy hike. It's all downhill, smooth dirt road. Just a long ways to go. On the clock, five miles, three hours, 56 minutes. Almost 1,400 foot elevation gain. So it's just a matter of time. It's a long, boring hike back to the truck, but we'll make it. And after that, we're gonna stop by one more mine on the way home and uh, check that out. And uh, we'll see if we're about calling it a day. Man, talk about a long, dull hike. I bet we're only halfway there, too. This sucks. I don't want to show you this real quick. I don't know what this is. Clearly man-made. But somebody evidently stopped and took the time to make it. Go figure. Onward. Sometimes the easiest hikes are the most difficult ones. Made it back to the truck. It's always a good sign when your vehicle is still here. Apparently not broken into, hopefully. Um, but I was a little worried. When I was out here airing down, I saw something. And you could see that slice in the tire right there worries me. Is it superficial or does it go in at all? Um, well, I did make it out here. Probably not the smartest thing I've ever done, but I did. And uh, clearly it's holding air. So I am gonna risk it the rest of the day. Not a huge deal, um, as long as I can get home. So keep our fingers crossed so we can make it home. I did not bring the full size spare. I usually bring a full size spare. I did not bring it this time. And then once we get to the mine, I'll break out the camera again and show you what's, what it's like. Uh, but we gotta come back this perimeter road and there's two really, really deep, deep ditches that I had to go into four high and kind of pull myself through because they were extremely steep. So uh, you saw those earlier in the video. And I'm not going to film it again, but um, you saw what they looked like, hopefully. But that's about it. So yeah, let's uh, let's load up and head out of here. Okay, now this is one of the roughest obstacles that I've run into out there. You really couldn't see what's in front of you. And normally, when you're with a second person, you would have a second person watching uh, what you're going over. So what I had to do was basically get out of the truck, uh, kind of plan my angle of approach. I knew I had to hug the side of this, uh, uh, this, this dirt mound here and carefully ease the truck down there so I wouldn't get stuck. Um, if I did get stuck, I'm definitely within cell range, but still it would have taken a long time for somebody to get out there.
hers is scraped on that one. There may have been some damage. I need to go out and check it out. No damage. Onward. Alright, I said one more mine shaft, so let's do it. It's not far from the road. It's fairly easy to get to. And there are some prospect pits up on the hill. But we're not going to those. See, the sun's going down, so I'm trying to get out of here. It's been a long day. Here's one kind of prospect pit. There's a few more up on the hill. I don't think any more go in, but this one does. As you can see, it's deep, it's dark, and we're going to pull the flashlight in a minute here. All right. That's it. We're going to come in here carefully walk down and use this pole for leverage and I've been in here before I see some feathers or something I've been in here before and I know it's not that difficult to get in it's not mine in there okay nothing there nothing there but there is where it goes in and you can see there's the entrance all the way up there so there used to be a piece of wood and it still kind of is that I guess people can get down around this corner over here but um, take a look down here, and I don't want to get too close, but you can see that pit. There's a, that's, that pit is something you're probably not going to escape from. Now, you, I could probably come down this board, but no, I'm not going to do that. That's nuts. What I'm going to try to do is uh, tape the GoPro and flash out of the end of this and extend it around the corner so I could see what's around that corner. So I'm going to put the light down and uh, try to take the GoPro on there and see if I could do it. All right, it's crude, but uh, it might just work. So it'll change the camera angle of the GoPro a little and that's fine. I just want to see what's around the corner. So without further ado, let's give it a shot. Yeah, that's working. All right, let's see, look at this pit. Anything in there? Carefully, extend the GoPro in the corner. Now, at the time I filmed this, you're seeing what I cannot see. Is there anything over there? I won't know until I get home and edit the video, but you will know because you're watching. Is it worth going over there or not? And again, there's that pit. At this point in the video where I am, I don't know what's around that corner. You saw it, I didn't. So obviously I'll see it when I edit the video and view it myself. But um, let's uh, carefully back up so we don't fall in. That would suck. Come out of here and uh, climb up there. I don't know about you, but I've had just about enough of old mines and caves today. Now I'm doing this. very carefully with the GoPro in one hand and this uh, plastic PVC pole in the other. But it's kind of just like a set of stairs here. 
Let me turn off this flashlight, it's getting hot. There. It's kind of just like a set of stairs. Not a big deal. Just climbing on out. Alright. Oh, the light of day. Okay. Okay. And this over here, just a prospect pit. And like I said, there's a few more prospect pits up there. I don't know of any other actual mines like this one. But that's it. Let's uh, let's get back to the truck. We've got quite of a quite a long drive ahead of us. I'm guessing about 45 minutes, 20 miles, 45 minutes, depending on how fast I go. Way way out through that valley there and then uh we'll stop and air up really quick maybe depending on where the pressure i think i'm at 30 psi right now i could probably make it home on 30 psi we'll see how i feel see what time it is i want to make sure i get home in that tire though because you saw that slice in the tire that uh is some kind of damage right uh we're here somewhere. Uh, it was pretty sure this one. Maybe it was the other one. Anyway, there's a slice in the sidewall that is probably going to hold, but there's always a chance it won't. I do have the factory spare to not bring the full size spare. And um, if, if I have to, I can get home on that, or I can just call somebody to bring a full size spare. And that's it. So let's uh, load up the truck and get on out of here. Wow, what a day. Here we are at the Desert National Wildlife Refuge, the same place we were so long ago. Uh, I've got 6 p.m. on the clock, almost 6 p.m. And uh, we had a hell of a day. We went all the way out there to uh, the base of Gas Peak, uh, Junebug Mine, and uh, it was a pretty intense hike. We did some serious climbing out there at the Junebug Mine and uh, came back uh, did some off-roading uh, we did bottom out of that little section a little bit but that's fine we made it and then uh, we checked out that other smaller mine at the base of, uh, of gas peak out there so that's it for this adventure i hope you enjoyed it we'll be out here again many more adventures if you like what you see please subscribe and always comment down below i love your comments keep them coming and uh, that's about it so until the next time see you on the next adventure thanks for watching if you enjoyed the videos, please subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified when I post a new one. All of my videos are unscripted as they happen. I can't promise they'll be exciting, but I can promise they'll be 100% real. My name is Steve from Las Vegas and these are my adventures.